to remembering actor John Amos. He is best known for his starring roles in Good Times and the TV miniseries Roots. Chris Conley is in Los Angeles with more on Amos's life and legacy. Good morning to you, Chris. And good morning to you, Robin. On Good Times, he sought to discredit negative stereotypes. He brought knowledge from the months he'd spent living in Liberia to his role in Roots. John Amos was an actor whose integrity and intellect informed the parts he played. An actor of surpassing stature, power, and versatility, equally adept at comedy and drama. John Amos blazed trails and delighted audiences throughout his decades-long career in TV, movies, and on stage, starting in the 1970s. His performance as the adult Kunta Kinte, alongside Lou Gossett Jr.'s Fiddler, in the 1977 landmark television miniseries Roots, would earn Amos an Emmy nomination. After occasional appearances as Gordy the Weatherman on The Mary Tyler Moore Show, the only black actor in that show's elite cast, Amos would win fans for his starring stint, you know one opposite Esther Roll as the working class patriarch on the first three seasons of Good Time. The 1970s Norman Lear sitcom set in a Chicago housing project where he'd be often beset by the antics of Jimmy Walker's JJ. Do you know they got the golden arches. Mine is the golden arcs. On the big screen, he play Akeem's boss and the father of Akeem's beloved Lisa in Coming to America with Eddie Murphy. And he'd shine on Aaron Sorkin's The West Wing as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Born in New Jersey, Amos was a semi-pro football player, writer, and stand-up comic before beginning his acting career. Earlier this year, allegations of elder abuse towards Amos were made by his daughter Shannon against a sibling. An LAPD investigation yielded no evidence of wrongdoing. Amos's death at age 84 on August 21st of this year made public for the first time on Tuesday, earning him Amos's death at age 84 on August 21st of this year made public for the first time on Tuesday, earning him tributes from co-stars and admirers. He rest in peace. Amos himself once telling the Television Academy how he hopes his many fans will recall him. I just like to remember as someone they enjoyed watching and they enjoyed having in their homes.